Anthony Nolan saves the lives of people with blood cancer and blood disorders. We match people willing to donate their stem cells to people with blood cancer and blood disorders in need of a life-saving transplant. If someone needs a stem cell transplant and none of their siblings are a match, then we will search the UK and international stem cell registers for a matching donor. But what makes a good donor match? Firstly, we will look for a donor whose tissue type matches the patient's. Rather than looking at blood groups, matching is based on the human leukocyte antigen, or HLA, tissue type. This is what makes you, you, your individual genetic characteristics. Your HLA type is made up of five genes. Each one of these has two different versions, called alleles, making 10 in total. You inherit one version from your mum and one from your dad. When it comes to matching a patient with a donor, if nine of these genes match up, it's called a nine out of 10 match. If all 10 match, then it's a 10 out of 10 match. Usually, we are looking for the best possible match as this will give the patient the best possible chance of accepting the donated stem cells. It is more likely the donor will be a match if they're from the same ethnic background as the patient, but anyone from any ethnic background could potentially be a good donor match. Doctors will also test to see if the patient is positive for cytomegalovirus, or CMV for short, a very common virus that often has no side effects. Ideally, we want to find a donor who tests the same for this virus as the patient, both positive or both negative for CMV, as evidence shows this improves transplant success. Finally, we will consider the age of the donor too. Our latest research has confirmed that transplants from younger donors are generally more successful. These are the three key factors that are considered when looking for a good donor match. If you'd like more information or support, the Anthony Nolan Patient Services team is here for you. Visit anthonynolan.org forward slash patients.